Like no. We're just like that vehicle going by. It ain't nothing but security everywhere you look. If it ain't the railroads, it's the state troopers. If it ain't the state troopers, it's vans. What does that mean to you? <laughs> that means war. We waited outside while the men came out. But as for the two left crew, we all had our doubt. Then came the news that everyone did dread. Three were alive, but seven were dead. He was mm. Guys in the region, Lenny. Real mountain music. Anyway, here's a cold strike story I promised, and uh, we'll get right to it now. I want to tell you one thing. This is not going to be a clean dub. I'm having a lot of problems with the equipment lately. The playback has been down for about a month. The engineering people won't fix it, but we'll give it our best shot. We can bring to earth a new world among the ashes of the old for the union makes us strong. We're up against a a major union that's got a hundred million dollars set aside to crush us. And that's their objective, is to crush this company and put us out of business. We are willing to work if they'll give us a contract. This time, it is a question of survival. Both sides, the Pittston Coal Company and the United Mine Workers, spent more than a year getting ready for this strike. Some say both are making their last stand for control of this hard mountain country. Daryl Sutherland is a coal miner with family roots that reach deep into these mountains. His wife, Avis, lost both her father and a brother to the coal mines. But they still want to raise their four children here even though they know that with the strike, life will get harder before it gets better. We don't want a violent situation to go on. If the Pittston somehow disrupts the union till they're not continuing any longer, then you know, it'll be their loss, I can say that. The conflict is not about money. Right now, starting pay is $14.50 an hour. The strike is about power and the company's control over the miners' contracts. For miners and their families, giving in means giving up. The union makes us strong. And now the Pittston Coal Group, like so many other companies in so many other places where unions have gained a stronghold, is telling this union that they can no longer afford to play by their rules. The union must give in, Pittston says, or the company will not survive. You're talking about we provide direct or indirect uh, jobs for 10,000 people. That's the whole economy of this area. <laughs> that's, a, that's the whole economy of uh, this part of Virginia, southern West Virginia and East Kentucky. When you have payments and a uh, family that needs taken care of you, you, you have to do something. And that's what it's come down to. People like Melvin Matthews. They're running the strike lines, and there are hundreds of other non-union men like them who need jobs. They've got to do what seems necessary to them, and I have to do what's necessary to me. Uh, that's provide a living for my family. The company says economic realities are forcing them to work the mines without the union. Hard times could mean many may cross the picket lines. But if they do, the miners say they'll give away the union, and the union is all they've ever had. <laughs> We're up against a, a major union that's got a hundred million dollars set aside to crush us. And that's their objective, is to crush this company and put us out of business. If Pittston was wise, they'd give them what they asked for and give them their contract. And let these men work and be proud to have them. <laughs> That really brings tears to your eyes. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for tonight. We're almost out of time. And make sure you get your tape out and make sure Patella gets her tape out because we really want to see it around here. I need it to prove some points. And uh, see you later.